Google has finally released the first Android 12 developer preview. Now, as a developer preview, there aren't a ton of visual tweaks and user-facing features to check out. Developer previews are usually built for developers to be able to prepare their apps for a future version of the operating system. But there are a few visual tweaks that we can check out. Here's a quick rundown of the user-facing features on offer by the first developer preview of Android 12. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. It really helps support my work and I would appreciate that support. So perhaps the first and most important tweak to the Android 12 first developer preview is in the form of tweaks to the notification shade. Now we are expecting more changes to the notification shade as we go um, through the beta program, but for now you can see that um, instead of dimming the screen behind the shade as uh, happened in Android 11, which is on this phone, um, it's kind of blurred in the background instead. It's a good look and I, I kind of prefer it. There are a few other tweaks to the notification shade and in general how notifications are presented. Uh, for example, you can see this uh, Gmail notification is a little more compact here in the Android 12 preview as it is here in Android 11. Um, the things have been re rearranged a little bit. There's a, a bigger profile picture and all the information is kind of in line instead of previously where they were kind of stacked on top of each other. Um, that'll come in handy for when you have like lots of emails coming in um, to be able to see them all at a glance. Now in Android 11, users were given the ability to access their media controls straight from quick settings up here. Um, in Android 12, you have the ability to uh, tweak which apps have that access. So if you open the settings menu and head to sound and vibration and media, you can kind of toggle which apps can show media controls in quick settings. Now this is handy for those who maybe don't want to use the stock media apps or that kind of thing. Next up is the addition of a new safety and emergency section in the settings menu. So if you open settings and scroll down, you'll see this new safety and emergency area. Now this is where you can control things like car crash detection, crisis alerts, and so on. None of these features are really new on their own, but the fact that they're all now grouped together in this kind of menu is new. Android 12 also makes it easier to quickly and easily share Wi-Fi passwords with friends and family. Um, you can do so through the Android nearby share feature by heading to settings, um, going to your Wi-Fi network, selecting it, and then hitting the share button, after which you can hit this nearby button and then uh, use nearby share to send Wi-Fi passwords to friends. It's a lot easier than kind of scanning a QR code. Um, also near this area is another minor tweak which is the addition of a new toggle. Um, previously, as you can see on this phone, if I pull it up, um, all the toggles in the settings menu kind of look the same. Now, they kind of have a bit more information. They're a bit richer, um, or some of them are anyway. Um, you can see here this little tick, that kind of thing. It's a, it's a minor tweak, but a handy one. Last but not least is a change to the settings that you get when you take a screenshot. So if we take a screenshot here, hit the edit button, we'll see a bunch of new controls here at the bottom. Now, by comparison, if we open up our Android 11 phone and take a screenshot, hit edit, kind of fewer controls. Um, so you'll get the ability to kind of add an emoji, emoji similar to what you might get on Instagram or something, and the ability to erase, um, you know, tweaks that you make through, uh, you know, these pens and pencils and whatever features you have. You'll also get a nice crop button right here, which makes it a little easier to, um, resize the screenshot to what you were looking for. That's just a few of the new tweaks in the Android 12 developer preview. Uh, more are expected to be added as Google rolls out other versions of the beta, um, eventually into a public beta and a full release. Thanks so much for watching this video. And again, please hit the like button and subscribe if it was helpful to you. My name is Christian and I'll see you next time. See ya.